The Emirati royal family now commands the seas as well, having surpassed billionaire Roman Abramovic to take first place in a league table of proprietors of the world's largest mega yachts. Azam Yacht is considered to be the world's largest yacht. Azam is just the world's longest yacht, as Super Yacht Dilbar has a higher volume and bigger displacement. In today's video, we're going to go over inside look of Abu Dhabi's royal family Azam Yacht. So without further ado, let's get into it. Azam Yacht is a magnificent private yacht built in German shipyard Lursen Yachts. Azam Yacht is a stunning private yacht built by Lursen Yachts in Germany. It debuted on April 5th, 2013. It was the planet's longest private motor yacht, measuring 180 meters or 590 feet. It has a beam of 20.8 meters or 68 feet and a draft of 4.3 meters, which is exceptionally shallow, 14 feet and 1 inches. On September 9th, 2013, the yacht was delivered. Mubarak Saad Al Ababi was the engineer in charge of Azam's construction, with technical engineering by Lursen Yachts, designed by Nauta Yachts, and interior architecture by French designer Christophe Leoni. He has developed a sophisticated, special, and luxurious interior in Empire style. According to Super Yacht Times, the yacht was built around three years in the upcoming year of engineering, with a record building time. Azam dubbed a Giga yacht, took four months to construct at the German shipyard Lursen, and is reported to have costed more than $500 million. Over the course of four years, 4,000 individuals worked on the project, accumulating 6 million person hours before her April 2013 debut. The builders concluded that if a single person had constructed the yacht, construction would have begun in 1737 BC. Azam was tasked with traveling as rapidly as feasible to the owner's private island off the coast of Abu Dhabi, and she could do so in a matter of hours at a top speed of 33 knots. Superyachts.com, which watched the yacht's development during its building at Germany's Lursen Yard, shared photos of the ocean liner-sized cruise this morning. Azam holds the ability to travel at high speed in warm and shallow waters and can navigate at speeds of more than 30 knots. The yacht is power driven by a combination of two gas turbines and two diesel engines with 94,000 horsepower, with the shallow draft for her size allows her to reach the top speed. The yacht has a central salon with a width of 29 meters or 95 feet and a beam of 18 meters or 59 feet with an open concept and no pillars, among many other characteristics. It has a top speed of more than 32 knots or 59 kilometers per hour or 37 miles per hour and is powered by two gas turbines and two diesel engines with a combined power output of 35,048 kilowatt or 47,000 horsepower via four pump jets. Two of the pump jets are non-movable round water channels in the middle of the stern. Two with the thrust vectoring capabilities use transportable duct water outlets positioned on either side of the non-movable ones. The Azam Superyacht has a net tonnage capacity of roughly 14,000 tons and a 1 million litre gas tank. The boat was built for an anticipated cost of $600 million by luxury yacht manufacturer Lursen, which has come to this value as a result of her significant displacement, 13,136 tons. In addition, Northern European built boats have a market value of roughly $60,000 per ton. Nauta Yachts created her exterior design and styling. However, Little is known about her inside because there are no Azam interior images accessible. However, it has been revealed that she can accommodate 36 guests and a staff of 60. She is claimed to be equipped with a missile defense system as well as a submarine. The President of the United Arab Emirates, Khalifa bin Syed Al Nayyan, commissioned the Azam yacht. The yacht is offered for charter without a fee. According to Motorboats and Yacht Magazine, the vessel is currently not available for charter, and the charter listing, like Roman Abramovic's Eclipse, is intended to dodge European taxation because chartered vessels are exempt from property tax. 
She said to have a bulletproof master suite as well as a missile defense system, Azam was born in October 2013 and was given to her owner. She was returning to the Lursan yard at Bream in March 2014. In order to complete various post-delivery tasks, at least 50 professional members of the crew can be accommodated on the yacht. Like previous Lursan yachts, Azam is environmentally friendly with lower carbon dioxide, noise and soot emissions and improved fuel efficiency. Azam is also thought to utilize waste heat from the engine to power the yacht's desalination system for water supply. Lursan has been recognized for being the first yacht constructor to use this technique. According to industry leaders, the luxury boat market has stayed strong during the crisis as the rush to build ever larger mega yachts has escalated in recent years. In the major European shipyards, there are a long waiting lists for mega yachts. Demand is high since the ultra rich are getting wealthy during the recession. CNBC spoke with Derek Levy, the founder of Sphere Dawn, a yacht surveying company. He claimed that the super rich buys luxury yachts for status referring to them as a must-have property. Steve Jobs' estate also made the top 100 list with his yacht Venus, a 256-foot, 78-meter superyacht built by Philippe Stark and ordered before the Apple co-founder's death was in 2011. It was ranked 88th. The Dutch-built yacht has an iMac-based control panel. Still, it was only permitted to depart Amsterdam last December after Jobs' estate made a payment to settle a disagreement with Stark's overpayment for the design. David Geffen, the owner of Geffen Records, is the highest ranked American yacht owner with his 453-foot, 138 meters rising sun, sitting in 10th place. It's no surprise that people are speaking about Project Azam given her 596 LOA and enormous height. Her navigation mast rose high beyond the floating dock's top. She dwarfs the world's largest yacht, Eclipse, by around 57 feet. If you'll excuse the pun, and since the mega yacht has been first spotted in the audience in May 2012, people have been buzzing about Project Azam. She floated out of her first build shed and into a second one, without her bow part, at that point. This was because the initial build shed for Project Azam was 558 feet or 170 meters long, restricting the amount of work that Lursen could undertake there. The ship is considered the largest private yacht globally, with a length of 180 meters and a beam of 20.8 meters. It was acquired by Sheikh Khalifa bin Syed Al Nayyan, President of the UAE, present Emir of Abu Dhabi a member of the royal family that greets King Emeritus Juan Carlos I these days after his separation from Spain. The Azam, dubbed the King of the Seas after dethroning the 164-meter-long yacht Eclipse possessed by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovic, is a veritable floating castle. It has a limitless budget and a whimsical, lavish lifestyle of its owners, typical of Asian luxury, with a helicopter, discotheques, theater, anti-missile system, and amusement rooms for more than 500 square meters. It was built in 2013, over three years, by the German shipyards Lursen, at more than 600 million euros. Although Sheikh bin Syed commissioned its development, it is thought that its economic exploitation would be carried out by an external company devoted to leasing luxury boats. Therefore, there is little chance of seeing the Sheikh walk around Cadiz and its coastal surrounds. It was a difficult brief, Pedal admits. I quote, The ship, and it's a ship, was supposed to hit 30 knots or more. So one of the basic aspects was the speed, which was fairly rare for a vehicle of this size and I wanted to convey that pace even in the design. Fortunately, the interior volume demand was not enormous for the length, allowing us to create a balanced and stylish yacht with appropriate proportions. Many people have told me that from a distance, they can't tell she's a 180 meter boat. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. Until next time.